years, 20 years ago, thousands of people died in the 9-11 terrorist attacks. And Western Mass News spoke with one West Springfield father who continues to share his daughter's life and legacy. It was like nine minutes after the plane hit the building, she called me. She was a little hysterical. I turned the TV on and it happened to be on CNN. I saw the smoke. I saw the fire. Bob Harrington recalls his phone call with his daughter, Melissa, on September 11th, 2001. I said, get to that stairwell, get out of the building as fast as you can. Melissa was on the 101st floor of the World Trade Center's North Tower for a one-day business conference. She told me she loved me. I told her I loved her, and I was the last person from the outside world to talk to her. Melissa Harrington Hughes was 31 years old, one of the thousands of innocent victims. Melissa also left a voicemail for her husband, Sean, with a heartfelt goodbye now famously known around the world. I just want to let you know I love you, and I'm stuck in this building in New York. There's lots of smoke, and you just wanted to know that I love you so much. Not a day goes by Bob doesn't think about his daughter. I haven't seen her in 20 years. I haven't talked to her in 20 years. You know, and I miss her. She was a wonderful girl and, you know, was just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. And now he visits this memorial in West Springfield dedicated to his daughter and the thousands of others who lost their lives on that day. The Eternal Flame Memorial is one of many ways Bob keeps his daughter's memory alive and he knows her legacy lives on. I know that there are four children in the world named after her. And as the years go on, his message stays the same. Don't forget, that, that's what I like to say to people, don't forget. September 11th, 2001, a day no one will forget. Love your family, love the people that you're close to, and let them know that because one never knows what's gonna happen in the next hour, the next minute, or the next day.